from him and from Josh and everybody um, has really made all the difference in the world in understanding what a day trader is and how it actually works. Uh, Fausto and the staff at CTU University, they, they're really on top of everything. They give you good, good trade choices and they keep you alert on to whatever's happening in the market at the, at the time of the day. Right, so we, we made a profit, what did I just say earlier? Just take the money, take the money and run because guess what, if you didn't take it, how would you be doing right now? Now you're, now you're losing money. You're just trying to make that day's pay. That's all you're looking to do. You got it, you made it. Listen, for every stock, if that kept on going, for everyone that you thought was gonna do that, you're gonna have you're gonna, you're gonna have nine losses versus one winner. I don't think you're gonna find a better uh, support team in a stock trading business anywhere. That's why I'm here at the uh, platinum level. You know, a lot of people wanna go out there and trade and don't know if it's for them or not. And guess what? That's okay, because it's not. And the thing you have to look at is, you have to find a mentor, you have to find a school, you have to sample a couple of things with a couple of schools out there, do a couple of classes, and you make the choice. But don't make the biggest mistake that people make. Go out there and be part of 90%, maybe even higher, of the failure rate in today's industry because people want to try it before they learn. I mean, would you ever want someone to work on your loved ones that never went to med school? Or how about just giving your finance money to some financial planner that never learned finance? We are no different, but you are on the right path. The right path is you should be doing it on your own. And by doing it on your own, you need a mentor to show you how to do it. And that's what you're gonna get here at CyberTrade University. All right, cyber traders, let me get a little chat back if you can hear me loud and clear. Just give me a chat back, everyone. All right, good, good, good. Let's give me a second here. Just want to be able to broadcast something. Hold on. All right. So can everyone see my uh, PowerPoint okay? Just uh, let me know if you could see it loud and uh, pretty good. All right, good. Well, welcome, everybody. Hopefully, everyone's doing pretty well in this whole uh, coronavirus uh, here at CyberTrain University. We're all kind of like fighting away, and hopefully, you guys have been paying attention. But let me tell you, there's no better place right now to be confined than in a CyberTrain University webinar right now because you know what? You're hearing all these bad things that are happening in today's lives. People are out there, you know, getting very ill. Some people dying. It's it's a horrible, horrible thing. Um, but another, what's the other part about it is people losing their jobs and everything. So I guess everybody's starting to realize maybe I'll start trading. Maybe you know, and you're probably starting to realize that you don't know. Maybe you know, you see the market volatility. People losing their money on, on trading and. Uh, in their IRAs. Well, you know what? You might even know if you might even have a, a job back. So why not go out there and 
try this. Listen, if you if you confined to your home, why not start looking for a new career? Because you might need one, right? Um, and let me tell you, we are absolutely killing it here at Cybertrain University. Um, you know, unfortunately, I don't like these bad things that happen, but as a trader, this is like the best time for us to make the, uh, make this amount of volatility and this amount of money in trading. So uh, I want to go out there and I want to show you guys a little bit what we're going to trade, what we're going to look at, and, uh, you know, how to trade today's market, you know, trades and how it crashes. So we want to focus on that. Let me just get something else here. There we go. All right. Just want to. All right. So the whole part about what we're going to be talking about today is we're going to talk a lot about, you know, trader psychology, why people make big, big mistakes into trading. We're going to also talk about um, a lot of things like, you know, how to scan through the market. You know, I don't know as any of you guys follow me on YouTube or Facebook or in Instagram, you've probably seen me do postings two, three times a day. Uh, you know, really kind of showing, and actually, I hate to say this, we just started doing it. So uh, people are like, wow, this is great stuff. If you, if you haven't signed up yet, you want to get those alerts, go out there and watch and use the track record. See how we learn, how we read charts. How do we follow the smart money? Seeing who the big brokerage firms are. And then also the KISS method. Just keep it super simple. That's what trading is all about. And then at the end of this presentation, what the ultimate goal is this. I want everybody here to come and join me in my professional trading room. So you can go actually go out there and could see and say, okay, now I know why these guys are, you know, now I need to see why Fausto is a 12 time world champion. Now I can see why he's been in business for 25 years. Now I can see why he does more education for more brokerage firms, than anyone in industry. And last, you'll see why I have a five star rating in Google because trading is not for everybody. It, it's not. And you know what? That's okay. It really is okay. But you got to learn somewhere. And that's the key about being, tra uh, being a good trader. So um, with that said, guys, um, just to let you know a little bit about me, I'm not, I want to bore you with, my, you know, with the history about Cybertrain University. I want to get right into it. But the reason why I'm here is how I was trained. I was here because to be a successful trader, you have to train people to trade like you. I'm not here to teach you guys to go you know, sell you a, you know, a gazillion dollar course and you go figure it out on your own and here's 800 hours videos. You know, I think that's pretty sleazy, to be honest with you. I mean, like, I, I, unfortunately, education is a big business. It is. Listen, college is a big business. You know, I have a 19-year-old going to school right now. It's incredible. You know, they won't even give us a, him a refund on, you know, staying home because of coronavirus. Just shows you, like, they're all worried about the money. Well, you know what? I do things differently here, and it's not about teaching you guys how to do it on your own and just pay me a gazillion dollars. I'm here to find people I could teach and I could trade with, okay? So look at that. Look at this as being an interview, and you're all here, and you're here to see the, what the company could offer you, and then we're going to actually go out there and invite all of you guys to come in the trading room, and you're going to see the boardroom. You're going to see our traders on the floor and see if they actually make money. Because it's not about me, guys. It's not about me, and you don't want to be around here. Uh, you don't want you, you don't want to see how great I am and how much money I make. To me, honestly, that's an ego. Okay, and you know it's nice, but you know what? That doesn't make you money. It really doesn't. So that's how really realistically how I started. I live here in New York. I was trained by the best traders in the world. Eventually, I grew out of it, working at a trading firm, and. To go on my own, I have to find people that have the same exact passion as I do that we could trade together. And that's how you make money in trading. So listen, why do I teach? Why, why do I trade? Well, listen, I trade because I'm a first-generation Italian. My dad came here from Italy. My mom and dad came here. And um, they worked very, very hard. And I know some people here do the same thing. I mean, you probably know. They worked 10, 15 hours back then. When Sundays were Sundays and nothing was open on Sundays, only time we ever uh, were able to trade back then. Ma Mark, we got a Paisan there. Well, <laughs> nice to see you too, Paisan. Uh, good to see you. So anyway, um, I went out there and my parents said, listen, you got to find a job that is going to let you spend more time with your family 
less risk, less stress. And what else is there to do to New York other than be in the trading business, be in the brokerage industry? And let me tell you, what I found out on the first day in the trade, I should have never made my first trade as a trader. But I learned this. It's convenient. It's a great job. You can do it anywhere in the world. You're stuck here with the coronavirus. You're stuck in your house. So you really have no choice. You want to know what jail feels like? Well, apparently, if you follow the rules, this is what jail. It's really not a bad job. I mean, it's really not that bad. But you know what? When it's all done, said and done, you could do this anywhere in the world. But this is the most important thing. You have to learn from successful traders, and you have to surround yourselves with successful traders. That's why I teach. So I got two families, my everyday family, and hopefully some of you will be like the people you see up here on the screen. So you got this whole thing that's going with this coronavirus. The CDC is telling you stay home. The market's crashing. All this dangerous stuff that's going on. But the thing is this, can you profit from this? Of course you could. Did Amazon profit from it? I don't know. Everybody's, everybody's online. Did Facebook profit from it? Of course they do. You might hate these people, but at the end of the day, life will still go on. Okay. We still have to make money and we are going to be using certain things. So if you're not going to, if you're sitting there waiting for a stimulus check, I hate to tell you, you're in the wrong business. I can't, you should not be able to depend on make, waiting for that $1,200 stimulus check. Okay. You should not be willing to stay home and say, you know what? Wow, the, the government's going to be paying me $600 a week for two months. Yeah, what are you going to do in two months from now? What are you going to do? All right? So you just left your job. You got laid off. Unemployment was up another $3 million today. We're up to over $30 million, Worst ever. So you're part of it. For what? For what? I mean, is that what you want to be? Is that what you want to be, the $600 person every day? Is a week, is that what you want? No. How about making 600 a day or $1,000 a day? You don't believe me? Wait till you see when you come to the end of the trading room. But the key is this. To make money and to benefit from this, you got to know how to play the game. Now, the reason why people come to me and learn from Cybertrain University is because I teach you how to trade like a true market maker, like a true brokerage firm, a trader in a trading farm. How do I know that? Because I was one of them. And this is how we're going to do it. You follow the money. That's it. You follow the money. You don't need to go out there and reinvent the wheel. You don't have to be like Einstein. You don't have to be a genius to do this. Actually, those are actually my worst traders. <laughs> okay, I hate to say it. The guys that are over analytical and the really super, super, re really smart. Those are the hardest people to train. Okay, but you don't have to be that person. You just got to know how to keep it very simple. So the thing is this, how do we find those stocks? What's moving? Let me do a quick little flashback. Let, um, on right here, on March 5th, I did a webinar. INO, stock ran from right at two o'clock, ran from $5 to $9. I know what the hell does that company do? Never heard of it. What does it do? Well, I know if you look what happened just recently, stock ran to $15. Holy crap, that's a pretty big move. And actually, in one day, it ran from 12 all the way to 15. Do you really need, and that's in uh, that's this week alone, still going higher, right? Why is it going up? Who's running up? Is it the news? Is the it doesn't matter, ladies and gentlemen. It's irrelevant. What is important is following the money. Because at the end of the day, we're just trying to make a day's pay. But don't, I don't care what I trade. I don't want to know what I trade. It doesn't really matter. But I'm here for one reason and one reason only. Same thing you are, to make money. But the thing we have to figure out is this. How do we find INO? Where did that stock come from? How do we know it was going to move before it made its move? Well, let's get right into the thick of things. Scanning the market. You guys have a good scanner? We do. We have several of them. Why go spend all this money and try to figure it out on your own? If you came in the trading room, if you watch me every morning, we do it for you. Okay? Because 
there are a lot of stocks that are moving in today's markets. Look, look at that scanner. We'll look at the trade station platform, very well-known platform in today's market uh, uh, trading industry. Look at all these stocks, MESO, MBOT, uh, CHK, all these stocks out there. Look, up 130%, 50%. But which one? Out of all of them, how do you know which one is going to give you the least amount of risk with the, minor, the most amount of reward? That's how we train you. We show you how to, you got to know how to um, read spreads. You got to know how to follow orders. And you got to know how just to trade with others. Just keep it very simple. Uh, Mark has a question. Are they the standard scans or do these guys tweak them? Um, that's a great question. And you, that's a, you know, actually, yes, we do tweak them because I don't want to start seeing like stocks that trade like 3,000 shares. Oh, look at the stocks of 400%. Only trade 3,000 shares. You know, you're not going to trade it. So it kind of eats up a lot of your um, your uh, list. So yes, there are filters that we filter them out to get all the junk out of there, all the penny stock junk. We don't need, you know, listen, you, you, you got to find things that have good movement, good volatility, and good, what we call iceberg orders. So the big thing is this, we got to have a game plan. Okay, when you go in today's markets, when you trade, you got to have a game plan and you got to know where the smart money is. That's how you become a very good trader. So let's talk about um, how do we follow the smart money? Well, you know what? I'm going to ask you guys that. I'm sitting here. I got to take I got I got to take a sip of my coffee here for a second because I'm running out of uh, breath. Can you guys tell me in this in this room right now? How do stocks go up and go down? Let's see how you guys answer this question. How do things go up and go down? Max says supply and demand. Anyone else? Supply and demand. JP says supply and demand. Buyers and sellers. Basically the same thing. Okay. Anna, what about you? I didn't hear from you. Benjamin, James, Mark. Guys, don't listen. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be shy. Turn the damn TV off. Stop watching the market and focus right here. Because I'm here to save you a lot of money. I'm not here for my, my health. OK, I'm here to interview you, not interview me. All right, because not everybody here is going to be el eligible to come to my trading room. It's not that it's not a, you know, it's a, pri a privilege. I mean, I mean, it's not like it's a, a, a uh, entitlement. You know, it's listen, not a lot of you really qualified to do it. And one of the things you got to understand, if you don't talk, you don't chat, you're not going to make money in trading. I'm just telling you right now. So. Could everyone agree with me? Supply and demand. Just give me a quick yes. All right, good. Got a good yes. All right, perfect. Now, you tell me, what do you do, everybody? How do you find the supply and demand? How do you find the buyers and sellers? Let's see how you, let's see how you guys answer this question. You don't have to go crazy. You know, just a couple of words. I'm just curious. How do you find... The supply and demand. Chris says the volume. Okay, that's false. Anyone else? Vector vest? No. John says level three. Okay, now we're on the same page. Time and sales. Okay, time and sales is just confirmation, JP, when the market, you know, when it takes off. Look at the order book, Cynthia. Okay, Cindy. Oh, there you go. Got to follow the institutions. So that's what we're going to talk about right now. Following the trend is one thing, but the question is, when is it going to stop? LK, we made a killing on this stock on the short. Remember LK? It's still halted. At 8.30 in the morning, which, by the way, most of our trades are done in pre-market, stock went from 26 down to 4, okay? So look at that. Yeah, down to 4. Look at that. It's not even 9 o'clock. Great short. What drove the stock down other than the bad news? Other than, and you can read the news on this company, but what, what does that mean? What does that mean what they were trying to do? And how did they get, why, why did it go to 28 down to four? Why did it go, why did it stop at 10? You ever like notice that you look at the news and you're like, I don't understand. I mean, it's bad, but why is it that, who makes up these prices? Who's running it down? You mean, can anybody, I mean, especially when you own it, you ever own the stock and like, 
oh my god, I just bought a stock with bad news. I'm like, uh, is anyone anyone else interested? You know, in the same situation as I am, same thing. So you need to follow the money and have a game plan. That's what we're going to focus on. Uh, here we go. Let's start with Total View. Okay, NASDAQ Total View. Does anyone ever hear this before? Anyone ever heard of Total View? Actually, uh, let me, actually, you know, I'm going to do a, can I do it? Yeah, I'm going to do a poll. And uh, hold on, I'm just going to ask everybody this question. Do you have level three quotes? So you probably see a little poll question coming up on the right. By the way, if you're on YouTube Live or Facebook Live, you can't be part of it um, unless you're registered. We're, we have, we're running three different rooms at one time. So if you're in the Cybertrain University Zoom room, you could get into the poll. But I'll share it with you guys who, who are on Facebook and YouTube Live. So um, I think you see it right here. You can see, you can see all the yeses and nos coming. Not sure. Okay. All right, I'm going to end the poll. I'm going to share the results. And um, you guys can see it on Facebook Live and uh, YouTube Live. But for everyone else, you can see it also. 23% uh, yeah, yes, 64% no, and the rest are not sure. If you said you're not sure, I'll take that as a no. All right, so let me explain to you. Okay, now listen to me carefully. What you're about to hear right now is going to be very, very disturbing. Okay, what I'm about to teach you right now is going to make you quit trading or you're going to say, you know what, Fausto, where do I sign up? I need to see this stuff live. This is this is makes absolute perfect sense. It's nothing more, nothing that I never heard before from anyone else. And I'm, I'm just being what I'm just telling you what people tell me. OK, so listen to me carefully right now. This is where things get very, very interesting. Have any of you guys watched me on NASDAQ? Actually, at the end of this presentation, we'll play the video. Any of you guys watch me on the NASDAQ uh, um, show on their broadcast? Mac, you did? Okay, good. So I'm going to talk about that. Now, this is only one book out of like several that are out there. Now, NASDAQ um, invented, this is how NASDAQ was invented back in the 70s. It's a big chat room. There's no, but there's no meeting place like the New York Stock Exchange. Everything's done electronically. Everyone is advertising what they want to buy and what they want to sell the stock for. So what you're seeing is, you, think of this. You are now on the floor of the exchange. You get to see all the buyers, all the sellers, and who wants to buy it, who wants to sell it. You're getting to see all the data, okay? Let's look at Norwegian Cruise Line. Norwegian Cruise Line was fun the last couple of days. Here's a stock that went from 1420 all the way up. Hold on, let me get my little pointer so you guys can follow along. I always forget to grab that pointer. Uh, animation. There we go. Okay. So you can see how the stock literally went from 1420 all the way to 1580. Who ran Norwegian Cruise Line up? Why did it go up? Okay. It's not you. It's not me. Okay. It's buyers and sellers. Okay. Now. The big thing is this. You ever notice you come up to a chart and you hit like a big support and resistance levels and you're trying to figure out like what's really making a support and resistance levels? Why, you know, who's actually running it up? Who's running it down? Well, here's your example right here. The Norwegian Cruise Line had a really big run. It ran from $14.20 all the way up to about $16 in a matter of what, two hours. Great run up. But obviously there's some profit taking. There's always profit taking. And you can see how the stock dropped, and it stopped right here at $15.36. Why did it stop at this price? Why $15.40? Why didn't it go back down to $14 or, four, or $15? Why $15.40? And then since 11 o'clock all the way up to about 12, it really didn't want to go lower than that specific $14.40. Well, right here on the right-hand side, You'll see what's called. That's right, Michael. It's it's a, it's a big large order. Here are your buyers. Actually, let me, let me let me draw it for you. Okay. So here are your buyers, and here are your sellers. These are your orders. This is how many orders are out there. At that price, for that of many shares. Now the way it works is this: whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up here. 
Whoever wants to buy for less money is down at the bottom. So you're basically in a big chat room negotiating what you want to buy and sell the stock for with the rest of the world. So you're in there trading on the exchange with everybody else, institutions, brokerage firms, mutual funds, algorithms, high-frequency trades, everything. You cannot see this, Keith, with level two. Level two has been outdated since the 1990s, okay? By the way, you know how much level two costs? It's free. You probably know that already. So guess what? That's all it's worth, which, by the way, that's another thing I want to tell you. If you're looking for free stuff, you're also in the wrong business. There's nothing free in this world, okay? So you can't, be, you can't, you can't, buy, you can't get into a six-figure uh, job by going learning for free. It just doesn't happen, all right? So anyway, if you notice right here, there is a 146,000 share buyer at $15.36. That would explain why the stock never went lower than that price. See what I'm saying? Every time it hit that price, it went up. What made a support level wasn't not Fausto, wasn't not you, Danny, wasn't you, Michael, wasn't you, John, you, Evan, Lewis, everybody out there. It was this guy. I don't know who he is. I don't know where he came from, but he is interested in buying a lot of shares. A few million dollars worth of it, too. It's a hell of a lot more money than you and I. So who are you going to trust? Me, you, or the guy here at 146,000 shares? It could be Warren Buffett. We don't know, Danny. Bottom line is, it's somebody. And that's why you have to look at it. Here's another example, okay? Another uh, big um, stock, uh, which we we'll call it, uh, Norwegian Cruise Line, okay? So continuing with the same stock. You see how the stock went up? And it stopped at 1620? Why did it stop at 1620? I mean, we go back, you could see how it went up to 1620, right? It was a big support level. But you see how it went up? And now it's starting to trend down. Why is it trending down? Why is it stopping at 1625? Well, remember, what makes the resistance level is the sellers. Guess what? When you look over here on the sell side. Hold on, let me get my pounds here. Here's the sellers. And you work your way down. What you focus on is a lot of shares. And there's a hell of a lot of shares down there at 1625. Almost 96,000 shares. And there's 117 different orders out there. Listen, who could actually push the stock down more? The guy that's looking to sell 3,000 shares, the people looking to sell 1,800, 900, or, or 96,000. Oh, no wonder the stock came back down. Okay? No wonder because of that guy. Which, by the way, we're, we, can't, we, we didn't go any lower here. But I bet you if we look back, that buyer is still out there. It's all about following the money. Fausto, what would you consider a large order? What do I consider a large order, James? That one right there, James. Okay. Think about it. If everybody else is showing, you know, an average of a couple of hundred, a couple of thousand, and you're getting a 96,000, which is over 10, which is literally almost 90 times more the average, 100 times more the average. That's what we call an iceberg order, okay? Danny, listen, nothing is delayed. Well, this is a, nothing is delayed. This is all real time. And you know what, Danny? You're going to see it live in the market. Total view, yes, absolutely it's live. Absolutely. By the way, hold on. Let me just change the slide here and let me clear this out. Okay. So, what you're witnessing right now is something that when I started 25 years ago, I had to pay $1,000 a month for that. Now, you stop. Let, let's think about this for a second. Who in their right mind would a 22-year-old kid dish out $1,000 a month for this data? Probably about 99% of the people in this world who trade. Everybody's like, why would I, why would I dish out $1,000 a month? For something. Well, this is what my boss told me. It made perfect sense. He says, listen, 
you want to make a quarter million dollars a year? I'm like, yeah, well, you got to buy. Listen, you can't own a retail store without having a store, right? You got to pay rent. It's part of doing business. So let me tell you this. Is it $1,000 a month for that data? No. How about this? Nine bucks. Nine dollars. Is it worth nine dollars? Would you pay nine dollars for that data? Nine lousy little stinking dollars to find out where 70% of where the buyers and sellers are. Joe says, oh yeah. Sure, why not, right? Steve, Steve, what's the worst thing that could happen? That you actually see the buyer out there? You actually see somebody that's looking to buy 70,000 shares, right? What does that, what does that end up costing you at the end of the month? Um, 50 cents a day, maybe? I don't know. And what kills me is this. There are people till today still like $9 is a lot of money. Let me tell you something. If you think $9 is a lot of money, you damn well better quit trading right now. No matter, I don't care if you're an options for, just, you know what? You start interviewing stockbrokers. I used to pay $1,000 and I have to fight and tell people showing this data, paying $9, you wouldn't pay $9 for it. I mean, what are you, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. What do you think, some indicator that you get for free on a platform? Oh, look, they got Bollinger Bands. Oh, they got the 200 moving average. Oh, dude, look at that. They got like 100 years. Yeah, let me know how that works out for you, okay? Because by the time you figure it all out and the things cross again, you already blew up your account. Gene, we're going to talk about it at the end. We didn't even get, I didn't even, listen, I didn't even scratch the surface yet. I didn't even scratch the surface. Listen, my goal is this. I am here to educate you guys to see if you know trading's for you or not. I want to, I'm just teaching you kindergarten stuff. Wait till you see it live and it's trading in the market. You're going to freak out. Okay, so let's look at this example right here. INO. Is this stock moving up or down? Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a poll. I got a poll here. Yeah, here we go. Let's do a poll. Stock going up or going down? By the way, only people in the Zoom room could actually uh, do this. Once again, if you're on Facebook Live, you could put it in a chat room. If you're in, uh, in the room, in the trading room, in the uh, Facebook, we'll answer your questions in there also. But tell me, up or down? Down, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. No question. You're absolutely right. I don't understand how the 2% of you said it's going up. I mean, I, I'm dumbfounded by that. Um, <laughs> some people say, well, it's not enough data. You know what? That means you're too much, you're too, too much of an analyst. Okay. So I'm going to end that poll. And if you said it was going down, you're absolutely right. Now, the question is this. When is it going to stop? When is it going to go back up? Okay. What do we need for the stock to go up? We need buyers. We need buyers. Chart doesn't show you buyers. Indicators don't show you buyers. CNBC and Fox Business, I'm not going to tell you where the buyers are. But what we'll tell you the buyers, we're going to go to the book viewer. Okay. Now, the goal of being a good trader is you got to have a game plan. That's what you need. You got to have a game plan. Having a game plan is what we're looking at right now. Stocks down, need a buyer. Let's look at the bid and let's see if there's any, where's the next biggest you know, amount of buyers out there. And sure enough, what do we got? We got a 219,000 share buyers. That's not one. That's 73 different people out there that make up that, two, that 200,019 at 1260. So let's just think about this for a second. What do you think is going to happen when we get to 1260? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down or is it going to stay flat? What do you think? In theory, what do you think is going to happen? Really? Are you sure about that? Think it's going to go up? A lot more shares than you and I are trading, right? You want to buck the trend? Well, it wouldn't be resistance. It would be support, Sydney. So guess what? Would the stock INO do? You thought it was going down? You're absolutely right. How do you predict the future? You see where the buyers are? Look what happened. Went from 1420 all the way down to 1260 and then shot right back up went, and went right back. Look, it kept hitting it, came back down. Hit. That guy wasn't going anywhere. He was not going anywhere. And sure enough, look what happened there. Stock went up. 
How, now you ask yourself a question. How many times have you gone out there and traded today's markets? And like, you know what? I always wish I knew where I could find the bottom. I, I own a stock. I don't know where to get out, you know, and, and then when I sell it, it goes up. I think someone's watching me. You know what? How about this? They're not watching you, but you could watch them. You might think they're watching you, but they're not. You just didn't watch them. It's the opposite. Always ask yourself a question. Who really trained you? Think about it. I know I, people like, I, you know, people always ask me like, well, what is that supposed to mean? What, what do you mean? I mean, listen, if, do, could you imagine you knew somebody, God forbid, doesn't happen. Some of your loved ones went to, to the hospital and, and, and went to the, uh, you know, got sick with the coronavirus, okay? And uh, I don't know if anyone knows anybody that passed away, but I know living in New York, I don't know anybody close, thank God, but I knew some people got very sick and some people passed away. Do you think I'm going to actually go out there and go to the doctor? I'm going to ask you a question. Who trained you? How did, why, why didn't you save his life? Where did you go to school? Could you imagine it came out of his mouth like, nobody, I, I read it out of a, I watched YouTube. <laughs> and like, what, what, what reaction would you do? It's like giving your money to a finance for somebody. I'm like, and the guy lost your money. You would assume the guy learns finance, right? So my thing is this, when it comes to trading, Leave it to the professionals to train you how to do it. You need to do it. You want, you have to learn this on your own, but you got to surround yourself with good traders. And this is like common sense. This is common sense. And, P and, and no wonder why people are, you know, starting to realize and some of you coming in, they're like, you know what? This really, do this does actually make sense. Just follow the money. I mean, think about it. Who do you trust more? A Fibonacci indicator or 219,000 share buyer? Who would you want to trust more? I'll do the 200,000 share buyer. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, let's do the opposite now. Let's forget about charts and everything else. Let's have a little, little test. We're looking at American Airlines, right? Where do you think the sellers are on American Airlines? Without looking at any indicators, these, you know, all these fancy platforms, you know, all that good stuff. What do you think? Everybody could just put in a chat room. All right. So for everybody that is not, I'm going to share it in the Zoom chat in the uh, Facebook and YouTube live. Look at everybody's chatting in 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Wow. You know what? That's amazing. I didn't even, you didn't need anything, but guess what? You're absolutely right. 500, 600,000 share buyer. I mean, seller at twelve ninety? Are you effing kidding me? There's only look at all these other sellers. Nine hundred, one. Where the hell is is that guy crazy? Why is he even selling that many shares? You know what? I don't really care. All I know is he just exposed himself to sell American Airlines. There's a guy out there that's looking to sell almost ten million dollars worth of stock. I am not. It's not my my decision. It's not my. He looking to sell it. So what do you think is going to happen when we get to 1290, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know. Let's slap in a couple of indicators. What do we got? What do we got? We got a, uh, a Kukumo. We got a Bollinger. What else? We got a MACD. We got a 12 movement. Could you tell me what the stock's doing after looking at this one? You tell me. What does it look like it's doing? I know we got some analysts over here. I know, unfortunately, some people I know spend a lot of money on this. So you know better than me. What does this tell us? What's the stock doing? Like you lost, right? It looks like, you know what this looks like? If you ever have the opportunity to come to my office, I have a picture of it. I take all my kids' elementary pictures and stuff, and that's my indicators. That's what this looks like to me. But unfortunately, some people want to read this stuff, and it actually makes sense. But you know what? I'd rather just keep it simple. And guess what? When we did get to that seller, it ran from 1290 down to 1230 in a matter of an hour was a great short. So who do you trust more, the indicator or the 600,000 share seller sitting at 1290? What is easier to read? It's like common sense, common sense. And I was sold. And remember, let me repeat it again. When I first learned how to trade, 
when I took my job as a mark as a market maker to learn how to trade, this is exactly what they told me. They're like, I'm like, wow, why isn't nobody doing this? And I'm like, oh, because to buy this data is a thousand dollars to get it through NASDAQ. They're like, doesn't sound like a bad deal. For me, if I could if I could make a short and sell it with that guy selling at 1290 and cover my short at 1230 and make myself 60 cents on a thousand shares at $600. I basically almost paid for the, just this one trade for the platform for the whole month. I'm like, yeah, I know. Does that make sense? They're like, yeah, it does. I get it. But 99% of people still don't want to pay for it. But it only costs $9 today, $9 today. And I, and, and, and people still wouldn't want to pay for it. And I get it. Maybe it's not your style. Maybe it's not what you're looking for, but I don't know. This is about 70% of the volume. You want to question that guy? Go knock yourself out. But the big thing is you just got to know how to keep it simple. Keep it super simple. You know what I mean? By the way, there's my email address. If anybody wants to get a copy of my trading platforms, Thinkorswim, TradeStation, Orbis, just send me an email. Write it down. I'll be happy to give my email address. You know? But the thing is this. You don't need to use, you, you got to make the, the window so complicated. Just follow the orders. By the way, this, this, this is the trade station. I don't know if you have some trade station traders out there, but look at this one. This is called the matrix. Very similar to total view. It's just nicer because it aggregates more books. But look, 17,000 share buyer out here at 1185. You know, no wonder why the stock stopped right here. Look at that. It ran from 13 all the way down to 8 to 1185. Wow, look at that. It went right back to 12. Oh, must have to do with this guy over here. Hello. <laughs> all right. So, um, Steven's question Can you get uh, this kind of indicator or any stock or whatever? Sorry, I, I, I've never traded. Well, first of all, Steven, it's not an indicator. Okay. This is data. This is the actual orders. This is not no indicators. I don't. You know what? I'm not an indicator guy. I don't, I don't trade, you know, unless you're a swing trader or an investor, it works. But as a day trader, I like to day trade because I like to sleep at night. Okay. Um, I'm in cash. It's no different than you getting a job, going to work. You do your work, go home. On. Tomorrow's a new day. I don't have to worry about sitting there like, oh, what's, what's the futures doing? Waking up three o'clock in the morning. Oh, what's the, is my stock going up? You know what? I, I I had enough bad dreams. All right. So I'm almost out of time here. I'm sorry if I keep chatting away, but I got another webinar I got to do with another company. I got to finish up in like 10 minutes. So let me tell you, let me get right to it because I want to give you guys the opportunity to take that $9 and come join my trading room and see this data live. So you don't see I'm, you know, uh, all BS. Because I know there's a lot of BS people out there. And you know what? I tell everybody, take a... Get in their room, see what they have to say, and then and then come back to us and you'll see what the difference is. Fake orders. There's a the next question people ask. How do we know these are real orders? Well, very simple. You go out there and you trade, you hit that button for 280,000 shares and you tell me how fake it is. Okay. You want to take that gamble? Listen, they're all real orders. This ain't fake news. Okay. That's a real order. And if anybody ever tells you it's fake, they're obviously not a real trader, okay? Now, the thing is this. Can a guy get executed and sell it? Of course he could. Look at this trade, I and L. There was a seller at $9, which is basically a resistance levels, right? What happened? It went to 10. Why did it go to 10? Well, look at the time in sales, which some of you just mentioned earlier. Nine, nine, nine. Look at that, 16,000, 16,000, 2,000. Look at all these orders. This guy was getting executed. Somebody said somebody was buying it from him, which means it's a demand. No wonder why the stock went up. Now, in theory, it would be resistance, which it was for about three out, two hours until somebody like, hell, we got to buy this thing. By the way, I know went to about 15. And you know what? When you see big orders like that and you see them getting executed, somebody's buying it, that even makes it more of a desirable stock to buy. Think about it. Could you imagine you think about like, who the hell would want to buy a stock with such a huge seller? I'm getting at this thing. I'm like, I mean, you look at that. You're like, I wouldn't, I want to own a stock with, 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 with a big seller out there, but all of a sudden it could change. 
No different than when you see a resistance on a chart. How many times have you seen a resistance on a chart and like, holy crap, it just did a breakout. That's a breakout. This is a breakout. Always wonder what a breakout is, right? You always think about, you know, I heard about it. It's like a unicorn, right? I heard about it, but I never seen one, right? Um, Lance from uh, Lance said, Fausto used candlesticks. Oh, I love candlesticks. Perfect for birthday cakes, okay? Highly recommend them. But I like to keep things simple. I'd rather just follow the money. All right. So let's talk about potential income. Listen, here's a stock work we traded. Stock goes from $2 in one day, in one day, to 14 We do this every day. You don't believe me? Go check my Twitter. Go check my Facebook. Go check my Instagram. Go check my uh, YouTube channel. We trade stocks like this literally almost every day. Every day. Maybe not up 1,000%, but like 200 300%. People can't even make that in like, 10 years. Do you need the 10 points? No. You know what? If you made 50 cents in the trade on 500 shares, 250, guess what? There's your $50,000 salary. You don't have to, see, you don't have to make a lot of money, make a successful career in trading. You know, that's why I get sick. I see these people bragging and pumping their chest saying, hey, I made $3,000 today. Hey, I made, you know what? I made $4 million today. You know what? Give me a break. How is that going to make you money? Right? Because let me explain something to you. For you to make 3000 you have to afford to lose 3000 Are you in a position to lose $3,000 a day for five days straight? No, I don't think so. But to make a nice $50,000, $100,000 salary, you could, if you had to, you know, you could probably lose, afford to lose two hundred. You don't got to kill it to be successful at it. That's the misconception. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a very conservative trader. I'm very, very conservative. I'm not, I'm not these big high sh hot shots that got to go out there and, you know, and kill it. You know, it's just not, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't like to trade all day. That's not how I do it. I trade the first hour, last 30 minutes, I'm done. All right. So let's get right into it. And let me tell you how to register because we got to finish up because I got to get ready for another event. So every single one of you, I want to, I just want to reiterate, you all need a mentor and you're going to need at least two or three. And I highly recommend that you try a couple of companies out. Try a few of them out. Don't buy any like expensive courses yet. Just buy like, you know, do these little trials, you know, these $20, $100, $9 trials like we're going to do right now. And don't look at the, the mentor. Don't look at us. Look at the traders in the room. See if they make money. Okay. Because let me tell you, it's, you know, everyone's got a different style. You might not like the way he looks. You might not like the way he acts. You not like the way he talks. You might like it. You know, I'm, I'm a type of guy is, don't give me the doctor that's good, good bed, bedtime manners. Give me the doctor that's going to do the job, right? I mean, that's what I was always taught. You might not, you know, you might not like what the guy has to say, but if he's batting, a th you know, 100, I'd rather have him than the guys that's got the, the sweetest, and makes my wife feel so comfortable, you know, God, I'm sick or whatever, and, and, and make the kids like, oh, everything's going to be great. And Jim and Danny, and I find out that his, his record is, is a 50% life expectancy. They save people in, in the operating room. I don't want that guy on my team. I want the person that's going to be straightforward, tell me how it is, so, and then I can go out and enjoy myself. That's what it's all about. So, listen, it's time to go out there and spend more time with your family, which you're probably doing already with the coronavirus. But the thing is, you could enjoy life. It's a great job. You could spend more time with, with uh, you know, do things you always wanted to do. You just got to learn how to play the game. That's all you really have to do. You got to learn how to play the game. And this is how I, want, I like to leave it off. There's a reason why Cybertrain University has been endorsed by more brokerage firms than anyone in the industry. And listen, you think NASDAQ would have me come and do a presentation for them if they knew that what I was teaching is not what they want you to know? They want you to know how to use the, the Total View platform. They, I, I'm on a, a featured guest just to talk about it because that is what you need to understand, not some dumb indicator. You need to, you think Tom Sosno from Trade Works, the founder of Thinkorswim, is going to come on Cybertrain University 
and thinking that I'm, that I'm not a good day trader. You want to learn from you want to learn how to and you want to learn how to trade. You got to learn how to play the game. Period. So this is what I'm gonna I want to offer everybody here because I got to get ready to go. I want to invite all of you guys to come into the original day trading room, online room that I started 25 years ago. Okay. Um, I know you're seeing a lot of them pop up everywhere. Actually, believe it or not, 20, 30% of them are my students and instructors. Okay. The rest of the other people copied us, which is great. It's flattering. You know what I mean? Obviously, we're doing something right. But you want to have the original cheesecake, the New York cheesecake, you want to have the original, you know, uh, you know, chicken wings like the ones from Buffalo at, at Anchor Bar. You want to know what it's all about? You want to know what the hype is? Well, here's your opportunity to come into the original trading room where all these other schools have started by coming here. And hopefully you could be one of them too. Because when we train you, we teach you how to do it on, you know, we teach you how to do it yourself. So what we do in this trading room, we start at eight o'clock in the morning. We actually start day trading pre-market, which is basically where we make most of our money, believe it or not. And if you're a West Coast person, don't worry about it. The last half hour is also awesome too. So we kind of trade those two hours and we do live audio commentary uh, in that room. Now, this is what you're going to get. The link's up on the screen. $9. That's all I ask. And this is what you're going to get for $9. I'm going to teach you how to use level three. You're going to learn how to use NASDAQ Total View. I'm going to show you something called level four, which is book map. You're going to get a crash course on day trading. You can actually be able to talk to somebody. Wow. People are like, you can actually could talk to someone? They're like, I thought this was all automated. Listen, if you can't talk to somebody, don't, don't do business with people. How do you, how do, you do buy something not knowing someone's going to answer your phone? Oh, well, it, it, it doesn't pay for us. Listen, I don't make money at $9, okay? I don't need your $9, okay? That $9, all it is, I tell everyone, that is just an application fee for you to come in so we could actually interview you and see if you're qualified to trade. And trust me, that $9 is going to save you nine thousands of dollars. Okay. But you're going to get a lot of stuff. You're going to get daily market meetings. You're going to have one week access to our trading room. You're going to get a hundred hours of recordings. All this for nine lousy stinking dollars. I'm going to teach you how to find a dominated market maker. You're going to know how to follow uh, all those big orders. You're going to see this live in the market. You're going to see stocks that we traded, you know, that are up a hundred, 200% a day. And you know what? At the end of the week, honestly, I'll give, you, I'll give you $9 back. If you're a futures trader, if you're an options trader, and you're a swing trader, like, I don't know if I'm a day trader. You know what? You might like this better. I had two students that signed up today that became one of our gold students and says, you know what? I've been trading options for two years. And I learned, I'm not going to mention any names that they said they took classes with, for two years. And I loved it. And they were great instructors. And I actually know the people. But you know what I told them? I said this. Are you making the six figures? Oh, hell no. Then what the hell are you doing it for? Because of the leverage? I mean, like, listen, if you're not making money in a month doing this, I think it's time to find a new, a new, a new job. Okay? Not that it's a bad industry. It's just not for you. Or maybe you just didn't learn. So go out there and try it. But it's $9. You might like this better than that. Now, listen, this is a bonus. If you sign up right now, I will personally talk to you on the phone. Now, and people are like, wait a minute, this is so cool. So Fausto Puglisi is going to talk to me on the phone if I do this. You know what? You sign up right now. First 20 people do it. Why would I waste my time and talk to you for 30 minutes? is because I need to know if we can make money together, okay? This is just the first part of the interview of you being qualified to get into the trading room. This is what you're going to learn. I don't need 1,000 traders in my room. I could have 3,000 traders in my room, okay? Does that make you money? Ooh, look at all these people in this room. It's chaos. Who's going to give you the personal coaching Who's going to really, really look out for your best interest just to sit in a room with a lot of people so they just make subscriptions? Is that what you want? Give me a break, okay? You want that, then we're definitely not the right fit. But if you want somebody, you want a, a firm that is going to work with you, be part of a team, part of a family, that you guys could trade together, that you're not going to deal with all this chaos and, you know, all this, you know, 
crazy, you know, people screaming back and forth, then we're not the right fit. But the only way you're going to know is take $9 and try it out. All right. So I got about less than five minutes and I got to leave at one o'clock because I got to jump into this, this other webinar I have to do with a, one of my other uh, channel partners. But does anyone have any questions? A um, couple of people here. I just want to do a couple of shout outs. Um, I got a couple of registrants. People are registering right now. Uh, what do we got here? We got uh, Jesse from San Diego. Just got your registration, California. Welcome to the team. Ed from Texas, Dallas, Texas. Go Cowboys. We have uh, Donald from um, New York. Got your registration. Tom from was that Ontario, Canada. And I see more coming in. Now, as you guys register, really important, there's a little questionnaire to let us know a little bit about you. So if you could just fill that out, let us know if you took any training, uh, which is okay if you did or didn't. Let us know who broke you are. Uh, listen, a lot of people, like I said, really don't qualify to trade. So the only way you're going to know it is by being in the trading room, see this stuff live, and then you're going to know right away if it's for you or not. It, you know, some of you like, oh, it's too fast. It's really not. It's really not. Always remember one thing that Fausto taught me. Who really trained me? Who really trained me? And 99% of the people, you're going to say, nobody. So it's time to stop. You know, listen, it's time to stop doing that 17th diet and now have somebody involved in your life to really show you how to do it right. All right. So listen, I'm an entrepreneur. You know, I love, you know, I believe it. You know, we all got to make money, but it's always easier to work for somebody first before you start opening up your own business. All right. Uh, I signed up for this morning, Bruce. Yes, it does, Bruce. You're more than welcome. This sure does count. I think I saw you register. Uh, I know the zip. What is uh, work uh, for me? I don't know what that means, Stephen. All right, so we got about another three minutes. Anyone in last minute questions? Uh, could I start on Monday? Yes, yeah, so this is what I recommend you do. Register now. Go talk to your education advisor. He's going to tell you a couple of things. You're going to have an appointment with him. He's going to show you everything that's on your portal page. You don't want to go into this thing blind because you'll be like, what the hell am I looking at, right? You need to know the lingo. You need to know what they're doing. You know, you really need to know. We're going to walk you through. We're not, listen, we're not going to sell you a damn thing. All right? Nobody's going to pitch you. Nobody's going to tell you. Listen, get in the room. You pay $9. That's all you need to know. And then you'll make a decision at the end of the week. So what I recommend you do is watch the videos, start class on Monday. I, I mean, honestly, I would start tomorrow morning. I mean, I, I wouldn't waste any time. Shoot, what's going on with the market? Yes, they were up 500, we're down 300. I mean, with coronavirus, I mean, we're killing it with, with, the, with the shipping uh, cruise stocks and the, the, the uh, uh, airlines. I mean, they've just been great. Uh, Steven says, I never traded. Will I be able to do it? Steven, you know what? You are a better fit. For me to teach somebody like that, because you might not have any bad habits. Some of the people that have taken some courses and like, you know, Joe said, you, you know, did some futures. You might, you know, there's really no bad habits there. And honestly, you know, just kind of answer that question regarding about futures options. This is how I answer that question. People say to me, I, I really don't trade the stock market. I really trade commodities. I'm like, listen, when you watch TV, what do you, how often do I talk about commodities? Okay. 95% of what I talk about on TV is the stock market. Why are you trying to buck the curve, the, the, the buck the trend? Just follow what these guys are doing. And it's what, and you know what? $9 will answer that question. Think about that $9 I told you. I paid $1,000 just to get that data. You're paying $9 right now. What do you have to lose? You want to follow the money? You want to follow the orders? You want to see what the whole, what the whole hype is about? What NASDAQ really wants you to learn? Here's your opportunity. All right, guys, listen, I have to run. Um, Chris says, what about the $25,000 day trading? First of all, Chris, that's the least of your problems. No, you don't have to worry about the $25,000. Listen, we traded a stock today. Okay. Let me just show you something. Uh, which one was it? Right here. This one right here. Look at this stock right here. Let me bring this up. Okay. You want to see something cool? Look, look at this morning. This stock was at a dollar yesterday. Okay. You know where it went up to? Three, almost $3.50. Look at that's that's in two days. Look at the intraday. Okay. Stock went from right here a dollar to three o'clock, ran to two dollars. How much you need to buy a thousand shares of that stock? 
How much? A thousand dollars? What's a twenty-five thousand dollars for? Believe me, you don't need that much money to do it. All right. So um, I got to run, guys. I'm really apologize. I would love to sit there and chat, but guess what? You got a lot more that's coming along. Uh, I really look forward to it. Chris uh, Summerfield from uh, Plantation, California. He's got your registration. Welcome to the team. Kibby uh, from Norwich. Oh, was that Great Britain? Well, welcome aboard. I got your registration. I'm just looking at you guys right here. I mean, I have my other phone. I'm, I'm looking as I'm seeing them coming over, the, coming over here. Guys, $9. What the hell are you waiting for? Sabelle from Riverview, Florida. Just got your registration. I have a lot of people good. Jose from uh, Guatemala. Is that right? I hope I didn't bangle that. The, 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 the zip code was off on that one. Wow, a lot of people from all different countries. Gary from uh, Missouri. Just got your registration. All right. Uh, only $9. Get started now. Click on that link, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, listen. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really do appreciate it. Listen, I know some of you here are not going to move forward with Cyber Training University, and that's okay. I get it. I'm not going to be – listen, I'm not going to be insulted. I'm not – you might – maybe it's not the right time, you know? Honestly, I don't know why you couldn't. I mean, what's going on with the market, but it's okay. Listen, maybe you're, maybe you're in a position right now. Maybe it's not the right time. Maybe you're, you're learning from someone else. That's okay, but you know what? When it is the right time, make the opportunity to be there. And, and you'll see why we've been in business for 25 years. You'll see, and by the way, this is so important too. If anyone does train you, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to give you the biggest and best advice. You damn well better make sure they're being reputable, uh, being represented by some of the top brokerage firms in the industry. These guys do big compliances. And don't, don't stay away from these little chop shop companies. Short trade. My God, you hear about that company? Oh, what, is, what, what a Ponzi scheme that was, you know? you know, uh, fund, fund new traders. I mean, it's unbelievable. Um, just make sure that companies like think or swim Schwab, they're being endorsed because they do have a really big compliance department. They want to make sure that they, you know, regardless of what you read on the internet, these people want to make sure they're not going to have them represent. So I just want to give you that advice. That's very, very important advice. So if you ever do business with somebody, make sure they're being represented, you know, they're being sponsored, uh, by a brand name brokerage firm like us. All right. But, um, Nine dollars, your last chance. Hopefully, you'll be the first twenty. We'll see. You. Look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much again. And by the way, before we go, please be safe. Follow what they say. Be careful of coronavirus. You got the best excuse in the world to be here. Worst thing that could happen, you make money. <laughs> That's what I say. That's the worst thing that could happen because now you have an excuse. You have to be here. So just stay, just stay safe, and just be trading. You know, don't worry about the job. Don't worry about the stimulus package. Don't worry about, do this. This is probably the best wake up call for you. It could be, it could be, a, you know, it could be what they call a, uh, 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 not only just a wake up call, but what's that word I'm looking for? A, uh, uh, you know, light in the end of the tunnel or something they say, whatever it is. This is probably it. All right. Thanks, everybody. Good luck. Be safe. And uh, we'll see you all in the trading room. All right. Bye bye. Just stand by. We're going to watch the uh, the video for the NASDAQ trader. Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Melandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at the market site in Times Square, New York City, we have Fausto Puglisi, the founder and president of Cyber Trading University. We're going to take a look at how traders are using Total View. And Fausto, it could not be a better time to have you in with us at Marketplace because with everything going on, the volatility we've seen in the market since you were with us in the middle of February last time. That was pretty crazy. Traders are asking themselves, what's the bottom, what's the top? But as a day trader, you can kind of get an inside look when you're looking at a single stock. Yeah, what, it, what it is, Jill, is that, thanks for having me again. And yes, when it, when it comes to day trading, people realize that what happens over the course of the day, which trickles down to a swing trade into a long-term investment. And my phone's been blowing up. People keep asking me, Faust, is this the bottom? Is this the bottom? Because I'm looking, we're looking at the market all day. And honestly, this is how you really know when it's the bottom. When you have the worst of the worst of the worst news and just constantly all negative stuff, and the market's not going any lower, 
that's when you know it's time to buy. <laughs> so as you see, like a lot of bad news keeps coming up, and then obviously you saw what happened yesterday when they lowered the Fed rate by a half. It, it, it took for a, a big decline, and all of a sudden the market's up what, about almost like 900 points so far. Mm -hmm. So uh, and there's still a lot of bad news that's coming out with the coronavirus and everything else. But that's really when you know when you hit the bottom. So for some of the listeners out there that really were missed a boat when the market had a big rally, you almost hit 30,000. You know, these are the opportunities. You know, honestly, this is like the same thing I saw back in 2008 when we had the financial crisis. So once you start seeing all the bad news, things start backing up, well, start going up. All right, let's take a look at our example here today. We're gonna look at ticker symbol MRNA, NASDAQ listed, of course. What are we looking at? Where's the levels that you're looking to sell? Okay, so listen, what is the MRNA? You know, I keep bringing up stocks. People are like, what is this company? It doesn't matter. We're just here to make money. The main goal about Total View and is you have to understand how it works, how to know where the buyers and sellers are. It's all about supply and demand. That's why it's such a great tool. So we're looking at a chart right here, and we're looking at the stock right here. And the first thing people notice is like the stock's going up beautifully. Nice. Look at this stock. Started this morning. It's at 20, uh, 2580. It's at 28. Is it going higher? Now, the goal is, why is the stock keep breaking out? It hits a resistance, it comes back down. It breaks the previous resistance, keeps going up. How do you know it's gonna keep breaking higher highs? And that we, what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna bring a video so you all could see exactly what it's like to see in the real market conditions. All right, so let's move along to our next slide here. That's exactly what we're doing. Let's take a look at Total View. I'm gonna let you take the reins. Tell us what's happening here. Okay, so we got like a little minute video here. So we're looking at some real time. And the key here is time and sales. These are the transactions that are taking place. We're looking at level two. Level two is basically people get for free, but it doesn't give you the depth of data as Total View does. Now the key here is that you see you don't see that many sellers out there. You're just seeing the best bid and best, uh, best offer of that exchange. But you'll notice how the stock keeps going higher. What we need to focus on is the where you see the big sellers. And you're looking for big orders. You got a 50, 51 different orders out there right around 20, 28. Things are going so quickly. I try to slow it down. So right around 28, 28.50. So that is really your resistance levels. So when you're looking at a stock going out, the, uh, going higher, you're going to say, is this stock going to break out? So you see it's coming up to this guy right here really quickly. You see it's coming up. Mm -hmm. It's coming up to this person right here. So 70,000 shares, 5,000 shares. Uh, so it's going to come up to that seller. Now the goal is this. Is that guy going to get executed? Remember, you have 100 share sellers, 300 shares, 1,000. You have a big, uh, a big order out there. You want to see if that guy gets executed, and you want to see if th that's how it breaks out. Remember, what makes support and resistance levels is buyers and sellers. So you got a seller out there. So we're coming up to that seller right here. Now the goal is, is to look right here and see if that seller gets executed. And you see it's coming up to the seller, and boom, the guy gets taken out. It's, it's, ac it's actually executing it. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. See all those transactions? Mm -hmm. It took the guy out. Now look how fast the stock goes up. From 250, we're at 260, 270, 280, boom, like that, as quickly as that. That's why it's so important to know where the orders are, know where the resistance, and see if the guy gets taken out. Now, when we get to the next slide, look at it, we're already at, we're already at 2880. Yep, and you can Stop, see, you can see these start to see 35,000 Which orders. is, yep. exactly, now this is the next order. Now, the next question is, here's the next biggest resistance. There's a 33,000 shares for, a th uh, there's, there's a, 100 different orders out there. Now then that's where the next resistance level is. So the goal is you hit a resistance, where's the next resistance? The next resistance is the next biggest seller. So now we're coming up to him and we're gonna see what's gonna happen when he gets to 29. Yeah, I mean, it happens so fast. Well, also this is about a, a five minute video that I mm -hmm. was able to capture when we traded this stock and I kind of speeded it up over about a minute. So it doesn't move as quickly. Boom, we hit 29. Yep. The guy got taken out again, and look at the stock just took off again. And and the thing I want to explain to you, Jill, is that, and your listeners have to understand, is that when you have a big seller out there and that guy gets taken out, that is a very big demand. Someone says, oh, wow, I'll, I'll take that 30,000 shares, mm -hmm. and that's why you get the stock that really, really starts to take off. Now, the next thing is that you're going to get some resistance levels. People, It's going to start backing off. There's always profit-taking going on, right? Of course. So when you have profit-taking going on, you can see profit-taking going on, but the question is, is it really a profit taking or is it just people just, uh, uh, or is it really gonna go lower? In this case, it's not. Seller got done. Remember, we just watched the stock go from 28 to 29. Now look at it. We're at 29.50 already. Stock just keeps going higher and higher because those sellers are getting executed. As those sellers get executed, there's, that means there's a demand for it. When you see big block orders out there, it makes a bigger demand and that makes it higher. Now the next resistance level obviously is gonna be where we, we have to focus on where the next biggest orders are. So we got some, I think we freeze, right? We're done? 
Nope, Almost. we have a little bit more to go here. We slow down over here. Yep, we're done. Oh. So the next video we're going to show. Yeah, we can actually go to our slide here. So this is where you're looking at those levels. Right. So we look at the seller. So we have a 67,000 share seller at 28. So now we have to look what's, what, what's what we call iceberg orders. What does that mean? Okay. So it's a funny story. So I came up with this word about 20 years ago after watching the movie The Titanic. <laughs> okay. Have you ever watched that movie? Very sad movie. I, I definitely am recommend it. So anyway, what happened to Titanic? It hit an iceberg. And the, the thing is, everybody was focused on the pretty of the ship and above the water. They didn't realize it's not what's above the water. It's at the bottom of the water. Icebergs are really big. So what happened, it, it crashed and it sunk. So what we're looking for is big iceberg orders, which we call, some people call them big block orders. But when, when you see a big, big order, it's called an iceberg order. So now we're looking at a 2890. And we're looking for a resistance. Once again, stock's going higher. We need to focus on the next resistance level. All right, and which is on the next chart here. If we take a look, yep. So here's a quick, just a quick little screenshot. So as we're looking at it, at, at a, a, you see, it's a lot easier when you're focusing on, when you're just looking at the, at the level, uh, the total view. And it's, it's easy to point it out. Now, please keep in mind, your listeners have to understand, we're fast forwarding this pretty quickly mm -hmm. to get to the point. It doesn't move this quickly. Um, but I'm showing right here is just a quick screenshot. What we're focusing on is this big order right here for 73,000 shares, and there's 30, uh, there's 315 different orders out there making up that 73,000. Now, um, the thing I, I just want to point out is I just want to teach everyone a quick little lesson. Yeah. Don't ever sell anything at $30. $30. Go out of $29.99. You just cut the line by. <laughs> So that's for anything that's at an evil, even number. Biggest trip, biggest, uh, biggest uh, uh, trick I was taught by my mentors when I was younger. Just, listen, everybody's going to think thirty. Everybody's going to think twenty. Go out twenty-one ninety-nine. You just cut the line by seventy-three thousand shares. That's a very good. It's like life. selling a house or buying a house. It's like that. Those incremental psychological levels. Well, if you remember, if you look at it, the stock has a penny intervals. Mm -hmm. Every and so that's a little tip. But the thing is, let's focus what happens to the thirty. You know. Just right off the bat, you know that's a major resistance level, and that's what we have to focus on. That's for this the stock to go any higher, it's got to get through that seventy-three thousand share seller on total view. All right, well let's take a look at that next slide. Let's see what happens next. Now we're going to get the the other piece of the trade. Okay, so here we're now we're looking at the stock moving. Here's twenty-nine forty-five, twenty twenty-nine uh, forty-eight, sixty-two. 67. So the sellers are getting executed. You can see the transactions taking place, but we know that there's that guy sitting right here. And now his order's coming up. Look, he's starting making up the ranking. It's getting up to 30. It's getting close to him. So let's watch what happens. 74, 70. Look at the transactions taking place. It's trying to get there. And by the way, those orders, they're all real. People think like they're fake. Those are real orders. Can a guy cancel it? Of course they can cancel it. But that you have to take very seriously, and that's a real order out there. So now when, as we're looking at it, and as it's trading, it's trying to get there. Actually, it kind of almost tested it. You see that right there? Yep. You see that candle right there? It's hit it, and now it's starting to back off a little. Now you're starting to see the red candlesticks. So now it means that the, that the last sale is, is lower than the previous. And, and this works for all kinds of stocks. ETFs, would, would it work for ETFs, ETFs also? ETFs, futures, options. It works the same way. Remember, it's the movement of stock that makes all those other things. Yeah, right. ETFs and everything else. You, you, can, you, you can look up any ETF, and it'll come up on total view. Um, look, now we're down to 29. Yep. So my point that I'm getting to is this. If you didn't have a game plan, Jill, and didn't know that that seller was out there, and you try to like. And actually, like, if we go to the next slide, this is exactly what you were talking about. There's yeah. your level right there. If you didn't have a game plan and knew that seller was out there, and look at, look at that candle. That stock literally moved. Look how fast it moved in that one bar chart. If you didn't have a game plan to get out there before that guy was out there, and if you didn't what we call shaving, if you didn't shave just before that 30 and cut that line, guess what? You would just look how much money you would have lost. That stock didn't even drop from 30. Look where it went to. 27, wow. 30. You would have got crushed on that trade. Because what happens, if that seller's out there and he's not getting executed, he really had to sell that order, Jill. How is he going to get out? He's got to sell to the buyers. If he hits the bid, he's running that stock down, not you and I. Remember, we're not trading 74,000. Someone else is. But, and it's not one person. We saw it. It was like there were several people out there doing it. And that's how you got to focus on using the total view when you trade in today's uh, volatile markets. All right. So cool to actually watch it happen in real time. Thanks so much for doing that for us, Fausto. And thank you for joining me on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malentrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.